Tommy, what a result. Made it slightly harder for ourselves in the end, though? Definitely, yeah. Disappointed with the, the two goals we conceded, but I thought some of, some of the football we played was terrific. I thought the three goals were fantastic team goals. Uh, really pleased with the performance because they're, they're a good side. They're unbeaten in 17. So delighted, yeah. Great way to start the game. It gets us off on the right foot. Yeah. We had a plan. I spoke to a couple of players before the game uh, that we were going to maybe sit there and counter-attack because I think we had a, a very good counter-attacking team that showed against Oldham when we scored six. So we had a game plan. It worked well. I uh, thought the two centre-halves, the first half, did really, really well because they dealt with a lot of crosses and were first to every ball. And then on the counter, we scored two great goals. It's the theme of the last six games is the fact that we're attacking that pace starting our own half. Yeah, pace, control of the ball. We dev it. Granger's done well in that position as well. He's got that quality in the last third. Uh, but I say the first half, I thought, even though we played some great stuff, I thought the two centre halves were were very good and they dealt with uh, dealt with a lot of crosses. So I'm very pleased, yeah. And not to Adam Collin as well because he was getting everything through that first half. Yeah, his judgment making was fantastic coming to. I thought we could have counterattacked more from Adam. Uh, I'll look at that back but I think uh, we kind of just sat on our heels a bit when he got the ball in his hands and I want us to counter attack the two goals that got us 2-0 ahead two quality ruthless finishes yeah teamwork really people having vision being unselfish putting on a plate for somebody else and H being in the perfect position to put it in the back of the net no great goals they'd be even belong at a higher level really I would say that yeah if you saw it in the Premier League people would be saying well it's a great goal Arsenal scored that and Man City scored that. So they've got quality here. They just have to keep producing what they're doing and believe in themselves because they're good players. Hallam and Jack both confident they're both finishing moves off at the moment. Yeah, and keep Sowerby keeps popping them in as well, you know what I mean? So yeah, very pleased. In terms of the six the six game running confidence, what does that do for the boys in the week that they've had? Yeah, obviously the last couple of days have been very hectic, you know. John was a, a strong character here, he's laid great foundations. And it was a shock, it was a surprise. I know there was one or two rumours we used guys in the press. But when he told me I was I was when he'd made a decision, he told me Thursday night, eh, I didn't want him to go. I thought, I thought he should have stayed, but we make our own decisions in life, don't you? So I hope he does really well at Chesterfield and if it's been announced yet, I don't know, but I think that's going to happen. Eh? But he has laid very good foundations at the club, you know what I mean? Eh, so we just carry on. You've been very close with John through your career, Tommy. How, did, how much does it hurt when that happens? It doesn't hurt because we're adults and men. We'll still be best pals, you know what I mean? Uh, we've worked at different clubs before. We've not gone to every club together. We've worked at different clubs. And I wish him all the best. And I'm sure he'll be successful. And he's wished me all the best today. First thing, last thing he says to me was get a win tomorrow. How do you deal with it with the boys? Do you train first, then tell them? Or do you tell them first and then train? We we trained we trained uh, first and then... And John came in and told all the players and that, that he was leaving, you know what I mean? So really it was just kind of picking them up and I spoke to one or two individuals about different different positions that I wanted them to take up, uh, especially with this game and coming up. So I was just, uh, we, we, I'm, I've not taken over a struggling team, I've taken over a team that's on five on the balance and they're playing terrific football. So, you know what I mean? It's a pat on the back to everybody because it was a hectic two days. Does it feel disrupted at all during the build-up? No, I think as I say, with the five the five wins, it kind of flows with the players with fully confidence. I want them to be more professional on the pitch, to to see things and do things, and I think that came out today. Uh, as I say, I'm disappointed with the two goals we conceded because it kind of let them back in, and I thought we were totally in control. I don't think some of the fans were happy with like, get passing it square and back like you, but you know what I mean. It's been a hectic period, and I want them to save a bit of energy, and I thought we could save energy, but we're going to play like that. I have to ask you, Tommy, I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't. You've just thrown your hat in the ring. Would you like to take this role on? Well, they've got to ask me first. And then I've got... No, I know it's a bit of a cop that you'd probably think. But, but I, I do I do like it here. I do. I got to uh, get on with Dave very well. Get on very well with the chairman. We'll have a glassy Malbec together. Me and Andrew. So, no. We'll see what happens. Look, I've been in football a long time. I know what happens. I've been caretaker before. Uh, as I say, it's a very attractive job. So I'm sure Dave and the chairman's phones will be ringing all the time, especially when you won six on the bounce and you see how, how we're playing. So it's very attractive. So it's up to them. It's up to them. It's the balls in their court. They need to speak to me and then I'll decide. And it sounds as if you'd stay here even if somebody else did come in. 
Well, well, it depends who the person is. Obviously, you, you, you've got to say, if somebody comes in who have had a bit of history with and I don't like it, <laughs> that's not going to work, is it? You know what I mean? No, we'll, we'll just see. I mean, it's it's, it's been a hectic time, but uh, no, very pleased today. You've said it already. It's credit to you and the guys, the lads, the players that you've seen this through and done the job to, to make it six in a row. At the end of the day, you get credit, but same that go out there. I mean, I know when things go bad, it's usually the manager and the coach and stuff that get the blame, but the players have went out there and they'll beat a team that's unbeaten in 17 who are very strong you know what I mean uh, and we played some good stuff but overall really pleased with the goals I thought the goals were terrific A couple of the lads possibly clapping the fans goodbye Ash Addison and Anthony Gerrard any news on them too? Well Ashley's been recalled that was his last last game we're still talking to Fleetwood we're not sure what Fleetwood want <laughs> I don't know what Jez is doing he's I don't know man Maybe playing a game, I don't know. He's, he's up there, Dave's talking to him. Uh, we'll speak about him over the last couple of days. But he likes a bit of drama, Jez, doesn't he? You'd want him, though. He's, he's, he has shown his worth. He's a good guy. Great in the dressing room. You know what I mean? He's a leader at the back. He's our guy. He's got that experience, of course. It's up to the club, though. And I think the club should sign him. And in terms of that aspect of it, the transfer window's open, Tommy. Will you now be identifying targets with David? We've already have. We have, yeah. We've spoke to... We spoke to a couple we lost one to another club but we were disappointed on we were speaking to a couple of clubs it's still early but we do need we need to bolster the, whoever comes and bolster the squad especially the position we are in now because we've got a great opportunity and I wouldn't like I say to the players it's an opportunity and sometimes you don't get the opportunities very often so it's important they take it and they are taking it at the moment but you don't want anything in January I suppose Tommy this was important for the fans today because they'll have been worried about can we kick it on We've sent a message to them that although this has happened, we will kick on. Yeah, as I said, John's left good foundations. Whoever comes in, if it's me or Moza or whoever, what a manager, the foundations are there to kick on. We are a bit light body wise, and we need to improve that. But as the fans can see, it, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. It must have been a bit frustrating for them because we did that run and then the manager leaves and they think, oh, what's happened here? But we'll see what happens.